We mailed over 40 boxes of scrap lumber to makers all across the country with one challenge in mind. Build the most impressive thing you can out of our scrap lumber. And boy, do we get some impressive projects. By the end of this video, we're gonna pick a winner who's gonna get a $300 gift card to the home improvement store of their choice and bragging rights forever and ever. It's truly breathtaking. You don't wanna miss any of the projects. But this year's challenge was a little bit different because we were not the ones judging. So let's go through all the projects. Let us know down in the comments what your favorite is and we'll see who wins this year. I'm excited. All right, box of scrap challenge number three. Let's get into it. May the most impressive project win. Okay, first up, Lothario Kelly. So here's his before picture. So here's what his box of scrap looked like. It looks like he got a little bit of walnut, but mostly maple and some cherry strips from our cutting boards. Yeah, and a lot of the cutoffs. So let's see the layered cutoffs. Yeah. Those are the ends of our cutting boards. So once I trim them to length, we still have some pretty nice um, segments that are glued up. So this will be interesting because a lot of times people will use these cutoff strips to make really cool patterns. Not always. Some people don't want to use them. They throw them out. But a lot of times we'll see some really cool patterns. So I'm curious to see what he did with this. Okay. You want to see? Lothario's project? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh! Isn't that crazy? It's, uh, it's like a little mini baby grandfather clock. So when I first saw this, it was in the park and I thought it was like full size. I saw the first <laughs> picture when the email came in and I thought I was like, oh, what did you take a picture of something downtown for? And then I realized I was like, oh, it's a zoomed in photo. So props to Lothario for taking a breathtaking photo that I thought yeah. was a real building uh, at first glance. This would do, yeah, if you posted this, this is great staging. The lighting is awesome. If you were trying to sell this, this is a really good way to stage it and take pictures. But this is gorgeous. Um, so it's an actual working clock. It looks like you put in a clock kit in there and um which is totally fine the hot the goal is to highlight the scrap you don't you can add things to it so he's not disqualified because he added a clock no but, not at all um he did accentuate the beauty of the scrap woods hey look he little he made little shingles yeah isn't no, that cool legit shingles on this thing this is really cool lothario how creative we have never had anybody submit a clock before this is awesome yeah i love it all right, our next contestant is okay. Dawson Miller. Dawson Miller started off with, guess what? Some cherry and some maple and yep. a couple of cutoffs from the cutting board. It's, there's usually more in the box, so I think this is just what he used for his project yep. because generally the boxes have way more than uh, just what's pictured here. And I do have some notes um, from Dawson, but I'll read them afterwards. Oh, fun! Isn't that cool? Yeah, so it's like... Um, like wall hangings, frames. I'm just gonna read his notes. Okay, 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 okay. Dawson Miller. I got some cutting board cutoffs and a bunch of cherry in my box of scraps. I decided to make a vision slash photo board. That checks. I got it. Vision board. Perfect. Okay. Along with a shelf for decorations and photos. I ended up using the cutting board cutoffs as framework for the photos and found a bunch of items and photos around the house to show what it could look like once decorated. I believe both of these items could look great in an entryway, bedroom, etc. and could be hung up or leaned against a wall as I have done here. This was very fun and I'm grateful for the opportunity to share my craft and skills with other makers. I hope you guys continue to make great content for us so we can continue to grow. <sighs> awesome. Um... I love the vision board because if you know anything about us, we're all about goals and goal setting and making milestones and all that sort of stuff. So I really like that. That's yeah. awesome. I'm really glad he told us and he included the picture of the back of the picture frames because when I first saw this come in, I didn't notice that he built the picture frames out of the cutting board cutoff. So yeah. um, guys, thank you for those of you that uh, send us some uh, like text with your submissions because uh, a lot of times we just see pictures and that's great, but sometimes the story really sells it. So yeah. um, thank you for including details with your with your stuff because sometimes I just miss stuff. Yes, so great job, Dawson. Oh, Benjamin Van Kirk, he entered once again. Yes. This is his third entry. So he won the first year. Yep. Last year he entered and had a really cool dog bowl set up, but this yeah. year he started with uh, a couple of big blocks. So yeah. sometimes, uh, so we have to, because of shipping, we have to ship the boxes of scrap by weight. Sometimes you get really big, hearty chunks. So he's got a really big chunk of maple and a really big chunk of cherry and then some other maple uh, slats in there too. So, um, man, I'm excited. We'll see what he does. What did he do? Ooh, lamination, bent lamination. Look at that. And look at the carving. Look at the detail. Yeah, on the, on the he had to. Yeah, he had to have done that by hand. That is beautiful. Yeah, isn't Whoa. that great? And it's like coming out of the block of cherry. Okay, so neat. He also has a video. He does. So he wrote us a note. Let me read this uh, okay. first. But he also has a you YouTube channel. Yes. Please go subscribe okay. to his channel. He makes great fun content. So you read the thing, and I'll overlay some clips from the video. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. 
This project was a challenge because I had never tried bent wood lamination before, much less wood carving. The project I intended to make was a pendant light inspired by a hurricane. After many mistakes and struggles, that didn't work out. I quickly had to pivot and make a new project. This is a flower growing out of a piece of cracked wood. Just like a beautiful flower can grow from a sidewalk crack, this project is very symbolic of the entire building process I went through. Making something, failing, and persevering in the end to create something beautiful from scraps of wood. That's awesome. I love that. You guys have to go watch his video. He tells a really great story. Thank you for your entry this year, Benjamin Van Kirk. If you are trying to sell what you make and you want to sell more of it, you want to make more money, join the Stud Stack. Go to studstack.net and join. We've got an amazing group of makers in there that are all running businesses, helping each other out. It's it's a, a truly incredible community. We just had our first meetup live and in person, and it was so much fun to see everybody. But I have an announcement. The price of the Stud Stack is about to double. It's not going to double for the existing members, but for any new signups, we're about to raise the price. We're going to take a little bit of our own advice and raise the price because the quality of our work went up. We've made a lot more changes. There's a lot more value in the group and the price needs to reflect that. So this is your last chance before the price increase. If you want to jump in, you'll be locked into your price forever, but otherwise price is about to go up. I cannot wait to see you in the stud stack and help you grow your business. All right, Richard Pogue. Okay, so. All right, what did Richard do? Oh. Okay, we got a lot of projects nice. here. So we've got okay. two, what looks like two jewelry stands. Yeah, I think so, because there's hooks on the is bottom, that that so that is? looks like where you could like hang bracelets from, or necklaces, or whatever. Did he you send can... us any notes? Um, no, I do not have notes from him. But Richard, you gotta send us notes. Uh, send us a story next time. But these are beautiful. Man, I love the curves in it on that one on the left. Yeah. That's beautiful. It looks like we have a trivet too. Yeah, a trivet and then some coasters with the pattern from the cutting I board love, cutoffs. I love seeing how people use the cutting mm -hmm. board cutoffs. Those are so creative because you've already got the pattern and it's like, what do you do then with the pattern already in the, the lumber? Yeah. Because you can't really, I mean, you can break it apart, but like. Then you just have like itty bitty little squares yeah. to work with. But I love the walnut. It looks very luxurious and very um, like formal and fancy. I like it. Yeah, I do like it. Awesome, very impressive, Richard. Very impressive. All right, okay. Matthew Hamilton. Okay, first off, Matthew gets bonus points for his display of his before picture. Even even the display is artsy. Yes, um, Matthew is another uh, repeat entry, so excited to see what he made this year. Yes. Oh what? Oh my gosh. He made a robot. A literal robot. Look, and there's like wires hanging from it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've read this. You haven't read this. Read out his, okay. da, da, read out his da, da, notes. Da, da. Okay, uh, Matthew Hamilton. I'm excited to participate again. For my scrap submission, I made a robot who is falling apart into scrap and found a jar of life that's turning him into a human so that he may continue to live. Hope you all enjoy it. I incorporated wood turning and tried whittling for the first time when making the human hand. You can also see uh, you can also see it with a little music soundtrack on my Instagram, stumped.bymat. I love, look at the little wires. I, I know, the, the wires. wires were such a good touch. Oh my gosh. Guys, go give him a follow. Check out his little uh, reel that he made and uh, leave him some positive feedback too. This is an, a this very is so impressive cool. project. This is so cool. Okay, so like just to, yeah, get an idea. So it's it's a robot built out of scrap that's trying to come back to life and he's holding his hand over the little pot of light and his hand turns back into a human hand. So there's just so much story incorporated to this. This is awesome. This is amazing. This is an art piece. It's literally, this is an art this piece. Is an this art is beautiful. Piece. Wow. And the story that goes along with it too, man, stuff like this, um, you can really wow somebody at a booth or, or an event if you're trying to sell your work. So um, awesome, awesome storytelling, Matt. Yep. Um, really, really excited for this entry. So and Very impressive. Very, very impressive. All right, okay. next up, Brian Jackson. Brian Jackson. Here we go. So Brian got some big chunks of cherry, some maple, and what looks like white oak there yeah. on the left. So. Okay, so he had a little bit of a knot situation. We'll see what he does with that. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. Kind of like ombre going from yeah. like the cherry to the maple. This I do is a like that. Big, thick cutting board, too. I know. It looks really nice. It looks good. Very awesome. impressive. So, That's, Brian from Jackson Woodworks, if you want to go find him and give him a follow. I like that. Very impressive. That's a statement piece. Yeah, for sure. definitely a statement piece. I like how he rounded the edges rather than squared them off. I think that looks really, really nice. Yeah, well, it brings balance because mm -hmm. the lines are very harsh and then the curves on the edge. Yeah. Very well. Very well done, Brian. Very nice. All right, Aaron Very Grace. Great. So a lot of these entries are people that have been participating for multiple years. So it's just really cool to see all the people come back. Hi, everybody. We we're super excited. We did recognize, we loved seeing your names pop up in the inbox. We're like, oh, 
Yeah, he entered they again. They bought a box. They bought a box. You're yeah. number two. You're number three. Yeah, so awesome. But yeah, it looks like Aaron started with some maple, some cherry, um, some big chunks, some small strips. Yeah. We'll see what he does with it. Ooh. Wow. Okay, okay. This is super impressive. Look at that speaker. This is awesome. And it actually has like the electronics in it too because he sent a picture of the back so you can see that he actually like put speaker parts into it. I like how he did the honeycomb design in the speaker parts. That's awesome. Yeah. I love how he used the knot. Does he have? Yeah, let me see. Oh, he did. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, I decided to make these pieces of cherry into a Bluetooth speaker using a Rockler speaker kit. After making the box with awful miters, I still need to work on getting better with miters, and installing the speakers, I made a couple speaker covers out of the white oak. So he did get a little white oak. Yeah. What I decided to be the top of the speaker box had a cool looking defect slash knot that I decided was too awesome to hide. Agreed. I decided to use a cherry cutoff and some of the maple to make two bottle openers on the lathe. I turned them to two different shapes and finished them with a friction polish. Oh, awesome. Wait. So there were Did bottle we get pictures of the too. bottle openers? I, I feel like we just got pictures of the speaker, but I'll go back and double check. And if not, we'll throw them in here. But very cool, very impressive. That looks great. That I would definitely use that speaker. I Ex think that's awesome. Excellent job, Aaron. Wow, only seven entries? Yeah, only we seven mailed entries. Out, we mailed out like 40 boxes of scrap. You're telling me only seven people participated? So here's the crazy part. Not only did we send out 40 boxes, we only had like 42 boxes to send and we sold out within two and a half hours of the video dropping where we announced the third competition. So literally, so literally you're, the chances of winning are like one in seven right now. Yeah. So all you had to do was submit an entry and you're already way better chances than everybody else. Yep. Oh my gosh. So the seven of you have a really, really good chance. Um, so we'll see who wins. We also have some boxes of scrap right now. If you want to grab a box right now and hang on to it until the next time we do the contest, that works too. We just count submissions as they come in. So as long as you use a box of scrap that comes from us, you're entered to win in the contest. So yep. if you want a chance to win the prize next time, then go ahead and buy a box now and just hold on to it for your entry next time. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so that you don't miss the notification of the next competition. I know there are a lot of people on Instagram who are like, I missed it by 10 minutes. I'm super bummed. I should have seen the video sooner and they wanted to join. But if you hit the bell, you'll know first and foremost when the challenge starts. All right, now to the hard part, which we don't have to do this time. We outsourced the judging to the stud stack members that attended the summit. We just had our first live and in-person meetup last weekend, and that's where the stud stack members got to judge all of these wonderful projects. Uh, all right, everybody, it is time. Jenny, get over here. Sorry. All right, we are at the stud stack summit for 2024. Everybody say hi. Hey. Hi. All right, and we are about to judge the winner of the Box of Scrap competition. So this is a really hard challenge as it is every single year. Would you guys say, would you say it's hard to judge? Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm just glad I'm not doing this alone. I can pawn it off on these guys. Um, so if you're upset about the decision, blame them, not me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I love it. All right, so we're gonna flip through all the projects and whoever's loudest is gonna be the winner. So uh, I know it's bright and early, but I want everybody to yell and scream and yeah. be crazy. This is for YouTube, not for LinkedIn. So. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Yeah. Woo all right, and <laughs> the next one. Woo! Yeah. 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 I think we have a tie. We don't remember how loud it was. So yeah, for now we have a tie. So we have to do this one one more time. I think it's between two projects. All right. So this is for the tiebreaker. So we're gonna put up the two projects, and cheer the loudest for your favorite between the two. So. Wow! I think we have our winner. I think we have our winner. <laughs> oh my gosh, this was so much fun and so difficult. We had to have a tiebreaker. We this did. This was super fun. <laughs> um, everybody, give them a round of applause. Give everybody a round of applause for all the entries. Everything looked amazing. All right, great. So, well. All right, so that was really hard to tell who was loudest in the room, but we have a winner. We do. All right, so first off, in third place, we would like to congratulate Ben Van Kirk. Woo! Your story was 
incredible. It was very impressive how you were able to pull off that project at the last minute, mm -hmm. uh, despite all of the failures along the way. So we just loved the storytelling aspect of it. We loved how impressive your final project was, yeah. even though um, it was a last ditch Hail Mary effort to uh, submit an entry. But we are super excited and congratulations on third place. You have redeemed yourself. <laughs> all right. And in second place, it is Matthew Hamilton. Congratulations, Matthew Hamilton. This was so good. This so the impressive. decision between like first and second place was so, so, so hard. You guys did such an amazing job. Um, what a cool story behind this one too. And in first place, the winner of the entire third semi-annual uh, box of scrap <laughs> challenge is Lothario Kelly. Hey! Congratulations. Congratulations! Your clock tower was amazing. This was such a cool project. Everybody was wowed by it. Yes. And anyway, uh, check your email. We are going to be contacting you shortly. And uh, yeah, congratulations. To you really blew away all of the members here at the Stud Stack Summit. Everybody was super impressed and really enjoyed getting to see your project. So thank you for doing it and thank you for submitting it. Man, this was so much fun. Thank you so much for all the participants. Thank you for uh, sending in submissions. Thank you for pictures. Thank you for the stories behind your projects. That's what really, really brings uh, a lot we of We do read all the life. stories that you put in the email about how you built it, what your thought process was, and everything that goes behind it. And if you make videos, we showed everybody the videos this morning of your build process. So thank you for sending that in. It makes it so much more fun to judge. Um, makes it more difficult because you do such a good job, but we appreciate it. Yep. One man's trash can become your treasure. So that people pay you money for. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? So hopefully this is giving you some inspiration. I want you to share this video. If you enjoyed this, I want you to share this with another maker that you know. A lot of times we just need uh, creative uh, inspiration. And I think that these projects are that definitely that for me. And I know that they can be for others out there too. So send this to another maker that you know, and just let them see the creativity of what you can do with somebody else's trash. Maybe it just be the inspiration for how they start their next venture. So thanks for watching. We'll see you That's on the next one. I do it, I just stick to the